Here's what you've been waiting for. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, legal action is required. Processes happening starting now with you. Everybody out there has been crying for it. You want legal action? You want accountability by the SBA? If you're involved in the idle loan grant program, loan program, we're going to go there. It's only loan issues with your application. You're going to be asked to fill out a questionnaire. It's going to go to an attorney. I'm going to give you all of the information that you need right here. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this video from front to back and join in. It's probably the most important video we've made in a long time to really make things uh, get this ball rolling. Here we go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's good to see you today on the Speak and See Show. I ask you to like and subscribe and click this notification button so that when I get information like this out, you can get information in, valuable information that has to do with your business and may have to do with your idle loan rejection. This is a very important video. This is a video that many out there have been waiting for. Something like this to happen for somebody to act on your behalf in order to get your idle loan fixed. Now, once again, I am not an attorney. Just make that clear. I am not an attorney. This is for entertainment purposes only. A lot of people out there have been wanting the class action lawsuit against the SBA. Rightfully so. They've been hurt. They've been neglected. They've been overlooked, even in their application process, to getting the funds that they were deserving of. Now, I spoke with an attorney this morning. You guys might want to take notes on this, and uh, I will leave a link down below to what you can do in order to have the aggregated litigation on your behalf in your case, because they're all different. Every case is so different that it couldn't have, to go to, to a class action lawsuit, everything's not the same. So they have to prioritize and they have to put things in a specific group. They have to group things up with your idle loan application. Um, what the lawyer told me today is they're looking for pulses and practice that maybe they can find how the SBA may have deliberately or undeliberately misused the information that they got and they didn't put their practices in order, uh, but where they may have faltered. It's a group litigation. Um, so right now we're looking at... Did you do something wrong in your application? If so, what did the SBA do to try to help you fix it? Or what did they not do? The lack of what they did or what they knew. Um, once again, you're going to be filling out a questionnaire that I'm going to lead you to over here on this page. Um, I'm going to go over a few things that the attorney had spoke to me about. Um, they're looking to, to maybe reopen and process loans once again if your loan fits in the group of needing to be reprocessed. Uh, they're looking to do that. First, the goals are first, to, they're looking for the cause of action that they could take against the uh, SBA, more than likely this would be against the SBA. They're looking for patterns that the SBA may have patterns in everybody else, everybody's uh, like, does this application, did your application or your business have something to do with other businesses in your area? Did, did they follow suit? A lot of businesses here, boom, get de denied. And a lot of businesses over here get denied. They're, they're looking for, they're, they're piecing it together and they have to do that per individual. They're looking to make uh, for you guys, the loan applicant, to be made whole in this. They're looking for you to get your money. That's the key here 
is so that you get your money. Let's not try to just attack the SBA. It, it doesn't look like they're just looking to attack the SBA. They're looking to help you get your money and open, reopen your case to get your money. Um, they're looking at the policies and actions that can be changed, the actions and the policies that they used, as opposed to what they can change as well to make this a better process. Um, you're going to submit this questionnaire. I'm going to show this to you right now. This is the law group of uh, Larry R. Glazer. Now, the person that I spoke to today, uh, Nic Nicolette, the attorney, wonderful woman, uh, she said that this is her application. And uh, I wanted to clarify that to make sure that you wouldn't be filling out something that was going to, you know, I didn't want it to be spam or scam or anything like that. But this is a legitimate application to... Uh, to assess your eligibility. Uh, let me, let's go ahead and read some of this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is interesting and uh, hopefully this can help you. It says we are considering an aggregate lawsuit challenging the SBA's administration of the idle program as part of our cares act micro litigation efforts to challenge practices and policies by an agency and adjudicating and dispersing loans and to seek preservation of eligibility for loans for eligible applicants and or damages. If your idle loan application was denied, not processed, or your approved loan was funded, and you are interested in an aggregate litigation, please fill out the confidential questionnaire. We will review your submission and will notify you uh, if you meet our requirements to be named plaintiff. If you can find out more about our firm, or you can find out more about our firm at www.glazerandglazer.com. Eligibility assessment. Now we're going down to the eligibility assessment. Okay, so here's the thing is you're going to submit this questionnaire, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to submit this questionnaire um, and you'll be contacted soon and we'll receive a response. She told me it could take a week, but we never know how it could, could take around, you know, about a week later or whatever. You'll, you'll get a response, but we don't know how long exactly this could take months. You, you don't, I wouldn't keep pushing them for a response and pushing them because I have a feeling they're going to be overloaded with with you guys out there with the small businesses that are, that are really up to date and, and need this help. So we need to give them time to really review this and put these in order where they need to, uh, in order to obtain the goal that they're looking to, to acquire for, for the small businesses, for all of you out there. They're, they're developing a platform for each individual. So, uh, maybe a new website type of page for you all to uh, group up on this and share your experiences. We're going to find out more. Okay. So in, and she was speaking about a zoom hearings that she'll be holding. Uh, I believe she's going to be able to put the links on her webpage. Um, and you can find that web page once again at www.glazerandglazer.com. And she's going to be doing zoom calls on Saturday and you'll be RSVPing them to get a link. I'll go over more of this. We're gonna go, we're gonna go over this, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, and she's gonna do this on Saturday. And uh, to, in order to join the Zoom, it's just to get information about your individual cases. Maybe information from this person matches the information from this person. It hits there, and boom! Now they have they have you know can kind of funnel it into the the. Uh, the group, the for, the whole of what happened here, because everybody's really concerned about why they were denied, why the process stopped when it stopped, why the money is still out there with all this money still out there and they're not giving it to you. That's the key. Let me go back to this page and we're going to go over this questionnaire. Required is this eligibility assessment. You can join. Remember, this is going to be the orange page that you're seeing here. If you're seeing a different page, don't don't respond to it. You can join the aggregate lawsuit only if you or someone acting on your behalf submitted an idle application and your application was either denied or not processed to funding. So I wouldn't be able to do this for you. You'll have to do this on your own. Once again, I am not an attorney. Let's go further. 
Number one, which best describes the status of your idle application? Approved but not funded. No decision was made prior to 16th of May, 2022. I'm not sure if that 16th of May was supposed to be 6th of May, but I do believe they extended it for another 10 days. But uh, just nonetheless, if it's the 6th or the 16th, I would just put your application, put put that information in there. Uh, first idle uh, was approved, but increase was not processed to completion prior to May 16th. Your EIDL was denied and did not request a reconsideration. Your idle was denied and I requested a requ reconsideration. So did you not request a reconsideration or did you request one? Um, what is your full name? Last and middle. What is the name of your business, which you submitted the idle loan application described to you? in question number one when you submitted the idle application described in question number one in what country and state is the principal place of business or your company and when was the company business created did you submit an idle application for more than one business entity we saw a lot of people who were uh put it put in more than one application which a lot of sba agents were even saying put in another application um so if you did, I saw that to be a lot of a problem for a lot of people and they were red flagged for it. I think I was even red flagged for doing that. Um, so that could be a big issue with a lot of yours out there. I just wanted to bring that up like that. That to me was, was a really huge mountain that that was uh, was hard to overcome for a lot of you. Number eight. If you answered yes to question seven above, please state the name of the additional entity for which you applied and the status of the idle application. Now, a lot of you will answer probably on that one. I used the same name. Let them know you used the same name. Or I used the name of my business in one and my legal name in another because my business name is and my accounts are different in different accounts. That happened to a lot of sole proprietors, I know. Next, what is your marital status? And then click next. Now I'm not filling it out. I'll let you fill it out, but I click next and it just, uh, it, it won't go any further because I haven't filled out the questionnaire, but you're gonna fill out the whole questionnaire. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments down below what's going on. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them. I talked to uh, the attorney for probably, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. I don't know, somewhere in there, seven minutes maybe. I don't know exactly, but she filled me in on what she was doing and I appreciate her, Nicolette, I believe it was her name. Hopefully I got that right, but uh, I appreciate them over there for, for coming out and, and coming forth to do this for the small businesses. Once again, this is the beginning. Get ready. And hopefully we can help you work this out sooner than later for your idle loan. I know it's a timely, timely matter, but we've been patient for three years. A lot of you or two years, a lot of you. And I'm asking you to be patient with this. Uh, this is a, a, a very important process that's going on right here. And I really do want to thank Jason McElhome out there at trysmallbiz.com for everything he's done to be pushing uh, and helping with the idle loans being processed. We're still looking to uh, get the deferment. Hopefully we can get that deferment in as well, ladies and gentlemen, to give another six months for you guys out there. And, and I also put a uh, change.org petition out there for, and uh, actually interest, hopefully we can get interest you know, forgiven. The interest on the loans forgiven would be a nice start to this as well because it's been accruing interest for a while now and it's a big chunk of change for a lot of small businesses in such a time as this. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully it finds you well and uh, I'm going to continue fighting for you guys. I know I haven't put a video up in a while and I need you all out there to be contacting your congress and senators, congressmen and senators, and help to uh, in asking them to push forth forth on the idle deferment, so that we can get the loans. Hopefully, maybe even some of it forgiven, as well as getting that idle grant, ten thousand dollar grant that was promised in the CARES Act uh, fulfilled. 
because it, the policy map that was put out there seemed to be a major, major prejudice maybe on part of the SBA or the Congress, whoever implemented that policy map, which precluded, it just nixed out millions of small businesses on what they had promised to give you prior. So once again, a big shout out to to the law offices of Larry R. Glazer at glazerandglazer.com. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, link up here, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see this link up here where glazerandglazer.com. You click on that. But this is uh, their webpage that you'll be seeing over here. And uh, there's nothing exactly showing, you know, for this process yet. I don't believe, I believe she was saying that they're going to be working on something to be put up there for all of you. And as well, a Zoom meeting calls this Saturday to get an RSVP link. I believe that you would be contacting them through there as well. If you're on that comment page that I just showed you for the idol, for the, um, I'm sorry, not the idol, for the, um, let me go back there. Back here. Now, if you want to, I would maybe, uh, even if you're interested in that link for a Zoom meeting, uh, you could put that down here. Or if there's anything else in this questionnaire as it goes further, uh, let them know that you're interested in the meeting, in the Zoom link meeting. That way you can uh, kind of get in touch and we can they can kind of uh, streamline this a little bit faster maybe. So uh, I just want to let you all know that the Zoom, that you can RSVP them to get a link to a Zoom meeting that's going to be happening maybe this Saturday, maybe next. I'm not sure exactly, but she said it's probably going to be Saturdays because that's when most people have time. Uh, personally, I have church on Saturdays, all day Saturday. I'm kind of, eh, but uh, I'm going to try to make it as well because I could bring forth hopefully a lot of information since I've been dealing with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of you guys, really, um, in case by case and reading all your comments for over the last years. We've had a very good inside scoop on what's going on here and there she's more than uh, she has my information she can contact me when she needs to as well it's moving forward to let you all know things you know you're, the, a lion never roars while it's stalking its prey so we're, we're trying to uh, go with that philosophy now and uh finding out what happened and coming to a some a, a solution for all you guys out there. So hopefully this helps. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, and I'll continue to keep you updated and posted as new information comes in. Once again, guys, hang in there. And somebody say, hey, we still want our 10K.